Hey, what is up everybody? Ross Cessna from Spiritual Phoenix Studios bringing you a free daily daily tarot card reading. We have Renji on my lap today, uh, so you might hear some snoring or slurping, it's not me. Um, we're gonna do the, this loneliness spread, but before we get started, we are gonna take a deep breath. Um, so we're gonna breathe in through our nose for eight seconds, hold it for four, and then exhale out of our mouths for eight seconds. So breathe in through your nose. Hold it. Breathe out. All right, so hopefully you feel better. If you do, drop a like, leave a comment, let me know, and we'll get into this spread. So on this day, a German U-boat torpedoed the SS Ben Lamond. Steward Poon Lim went overboard and survived 133 days alone in the South Atlantic, catching birds, fish, and even a shark. He remained alive. Years later, he would say he hoped no one would ever have to break his record for the longest time at sea on a life raft. So this is the summation of the spread, very appropriate for this year too. Um, do you feel cut off from others? Hopefully you will never be lost at sea, but it doesn't mean you won't experience the lonely periods in your life when you may feel disconnected from others. This spread looks at why you might feel this way and what you can do to break out of it. Now, before we get started, I do want to say I'm going to try to put like a little bit of a light spin on this. Um, and I don't mean to discredit anybody's experience, right? I've had a history of mental health issues. I've been through some incredibly difficult experiences. So I, com I completely understand the challenges associated with that. Um, I'm going to try to shed some light on this because it's kind of a dark topic. But if you do need help, I suggest reaching out to people. Um, your life does matter and you're not alone ever. Uh, sometimes we just have to be reminded of that. Now... With that said, uh, let's start to spread, right? So first question right off the rip, why do you feel so alone? Death card comes up in reverse. Uh, this is, there's a big transition. There's like a, a final end to some situation. Um, so with everything going on this year, you might've lost somebody really important to you. Um, you might be having to quarantine to be away from people, or it just might be the fact that life as we know it has changed drastically this year and there's a lot of complexities and challenges that go along with that right um it's okay to feel that way completely understand that uh, embrace that accept that and allow yourself your own process allow yourself to go through this and grieve um is this a transformational moment nine of swords comes up nine are uh, about fruition. Swords are about the mind. This is your mind leading to uh, some place, right? This is about anxiety and despair, uh, insomnia. So there's a lot of these difficult emotions. But when we allow ourselves to um, be present with our emotions, they're actually teachers, and they can help us evolve to an, a new way of perceiving life and uh, getting better experiences going forward. So is this a transformational moment? Without a doubt. Um, how can you make the most of this period in your life? Let me try to pick this up. That's the thing, dude. Sometimes these cards stick to this table. And it's not that they're actually sticking to it. It's that I don't have fingernails and I can't grab them appropriately. All right. So it's five of swords. Um, fives are about adversity. Swords are generally uh, about the mind. This is about conflict, tension, and defeat. Um... How can you make the most of this period in your life? Begin to defeat or, or take aim at the things that are limiting you from getting the life experience that you want, right? When we are forced into situations of solitude, what makes the difference in the long term is how we choose to utilize that time. Um, there's the potential of doing nothing. And at some points, we need to take breaks, right? I'm not advocating... Um, busting your ass 24 seven. I'm actually like recording everything early so I can take the rest of the day off with the exception of any orders that I get. Um, but you need to take breaks. So it's not about that so much as it is um, working on yourself and making progress within and looking at the things that you might find challenging. Um, so that's how you can make the most of this period in your life. Find the balance point between rest and effort. Um, so how is this solitude a good thing is the next card. You have 10 of wands. This is about burden and responsibility. 
Um, it's a good thing because it gives you the opportunity to make sure that the responsibilities that you have are things that you actually are aligned with because at points we um, continually do things out of habit or out of tradition that actually no longer serve us. And when we're in these periods of solitude, it allows us, if, if we're willing to do the work and sit down and investigate our lives, uh, it allows us to look at the, the pieces of our lives and say, does this make sense to me now? Is this the experience that I need uh, in order to live the, the highest quality life? Is this the experience that I need to move me forward? Or is this limiting me? Um, or would I be better served by having more free time to just relax? And that's important. Um, solitude can be a great teacher if you're willing to look at the lessons of it. Then next we have, oh, I did this spread wrong. I just realized that. Okay, I gotta add a couple cards. Give me one second. That's why it's good to like, make sure you have enough coffee before you do this. Okay, who should you reach out to? You have eight of pentacles in reverse. So eights are about change. Pentacles are about the material world. Um, you need to reach out to somebody that you might have lost connection with. Somebody who might... Um, have been in similar situations to you that might be somewhat down and out. This is going to sound shitty. Reach out to somebody who might have it worse than you is kind of the, the way to look at this, right? Because Eight of Pentacles is about squandering, trifle, idle, like kind of lost. Reach out to somebody who might be having a couple more problems than you. And sometimes that can put things into perspective, um, especially if you feel like shit, helping somebody else can help elevate you. Now, indulging in this too much can make you a raging e egomaniac. <laughs> um, so take caution with that. Uh, <laughs> Is there any activity that you can join? You have six, uh, you have the uh, King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords in reverse is generally about malice or unyielding. The way that I would take that is right now, um, the kind of loneliness is, ma is like unyielding. Um, but in practical terms of giving you like a workable answer besides Tarot being like a, a spicy bitch and saying like it's never going to end, um, I would say the activity that you can join would be trying to find like an uh, online group, like a Facebook group that you enjoy discussing in. Um, if you play video games, getting involved in like a guild or something like that, a book club, like there's a million different things that you can do from the comfort of your own home right now um, where this is going to sound really insensitive and I don't mean it that way, but at some point loneliness is a choice and I understand the mechanics of I'm not feeling comfortable around other people. Like I, I have social anxiety. I actually have autism too. So it makes me incredibly freaking awkward around people. Um, and I don't understand social cues like at all. <laughs> but like you can integrate yourself into social situations if you choose to. Um, seven is can you initiate a new friendship? Two of pentacles comes up. It's about balance and adaptability. Uh, twos are also about duality. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is definitely a yeah. And it would say that, that would actually help balance your life a little bit, finding new people to uh, have conversations with, right? If you're seeing this video, you're on social media. There's all sorts of people like you who also would like to have people to talk with. Your task is to engage in conversation with them if you so choose. So again, it's that whole option of choice, right? What future do you want? Uh, can you initiate new friendships? Ace of Swords comes up. Aces are about potential. Swords are about uh, the mind. This is the potential for victory um, or accomplishing it. So yes. And in terms of yes cards, this is probably like the upper echelon of yes. Um, and also additionally, aces generally cast a positive light on the whole reading overall. Um, put in the footwork, you can make it happen. Where can you take yourself on a date? <laughs> this is kind of one of those spicy tarot answers too. This is five of cups. This is about like lossing regret. This is like take yourself on a pity party date. <laughs> like that's the way that I'm taking this card. Um, but if you look at the reverse meaning of five of cups, it would be about restoration or acceptance. 
take yourself on on like do something fun for yourself around the house because obviously now is not like the time to go out and do stuff in public unless you're comfortable with that but like take time to just really drink a cup of coffee and sit with yourself and this is going to sound weird as shit but like ask yourself questions journal like really get intimate with where your mind's at with everything in the state of the world right now and get to know yourself and you will feel exponentially better and there's a space where you can be alone and not lonely and that's ideally what you want to get to um nine should you get a pet i don't know i still did this wrong I don't know what the hell I did wrong. We're gonna keep going anyhow. Um, should you get a pet? This is, uh, what the fuck did I do? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I just like completely froze up. Should you get a pet? Uh, Five of Cups comes up. We're gonna use that one and we're gonna move forward. And it's about loss and regret. Um, again this is kind of like a no but i think that maybe if you think a pet's good for you get a pet i don't know how i got so sidetracked on this um when will this pass you have eight of cups in reverse and this is about drifting um it's gonna pass sooner than later it kind of passes when you stop focusing on on it um you can be included whenever you want and what have you learned three of cups comes up which is about friendship and community um you've learned that you can be a part of community, but the cost of being part of community is being vulnerable and putting yourself out there and taking these risks and also understanding that ultimately um, it's your responsibility to include yourself in social situations if you so choose to, uh, and you're responsible for that aspect of your life. And with that being said, I'm going to uh, get out of here. I hope that this reading was helpful for you. If it was, uh, drop a like, leave a comment, and maybe check out my Etsy store if you want a reading sometime. I've got uh, over 700 sales, over 200 uh, five-star reviews. People really love what I'm doing, and I'd love to help you out with a personal reading. So, peace. Hey, thanks again for checking out my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe by hitting the Phoenix down below and check out more of my videos over there.